dudes played mod, they play red and stuff, but in this game, you get you could get mod and play bad if the guy, I guess. I don't know, certain style. But yeah. Some styles if you get frustrated, you can just play worse against that character. That's all it that's all it is in this game. I mean and I would I would hope like, you know, that don't be the case. You know, where you let them know. Certain for certain styles for straight the living hell out of you. Yeah. Um, I haven't played a, like a campy style that's really been frustrating. I mean, and there was a, a point in time fighting Kel where it used to be extremely frustrating for me, but then it got better. Like over time, it got better because I I just learned to stop running into him, mm -hmm. and like you just have to learn where Peach can land yeah. and what she does after she lands. Yeah. And I noticed like Kel likes to jab. I so th these are like little things that um, Viper needs to look out for. Like, okay, when Kel comes down on my shield, does he jab or does he roll? I start to realize Baka is very good against Peach, though. It does. It, yeah, like I said before, uh, you get her to about like 40, 50 ish, and you can do air, like safe back airs, right? Because, if, especially against Kel style, because all you can. Approaching can be hard because he can draw bears on you. Yeah. So you just space your back, your back, your bears to. To beat his bears. You have a. Fox has a better bear. That's, Fox yeah. has better everything. You have to. That's Remember when, like when Peach bears, it's kind of like a little under her, so her head is kind of exposed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. So your back air should be able to hit her head. Yeah. And uh, if if it does trade, because you're holding away, uh, it, it doesn't really push you that far either. So at no. early percents, you could but get it, bear it could to, lead down to smash. down smash. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Because it doesn't push you that far, you get that bear to down yeah. smash. Yeah. Nice, nice. Yeah. Okay. And now like at this percentage, you just need to go for grabs and dares or running shines. Even running shines is zero could get grabs canceled. Yeah. After zero is is better, but zero for some reason is a little dumb number. See, that was a good running yeah, shine. Yeah, right. That was, was a good running shine. I noticed that, like, I, a lot of people have been, you've been using running shine versus me lately. And that, that's yeah. that, that's just been working out for you. Yeah, that is. Because it beats crouch, crouch cancel at a certain, like, I think after, like, 5%, it's just out, outright beat crouch cancel. Yeah, it does. So, I'm like, mm. I was like, I'm like, we'll just do, just <laughs> run this into me. So, she, he could grab, he need to grab this girl. Yeah. Grab her and up, because at 0%, you could get an up throw chain on this girl. Yeah, you could see. Up up it's going to be up throw right now. Neutral air. Oh, Lord. Yeah. He had to finish nice, that. Yeah, yeah. nice. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah it's, that it's was a nice game, too, good, especially especially with the, a situation where you only got like two options to get to the ledge. You did. <laughs> you know be his thumb get too slip. He's <laughs> and slip off. Or slip off, yeah. Because stuff happens. Yeah. But you know, um, Vibe has actually been playing a lot better today. I played him earlier with Falcon, and mm -hmm. his movement. That just had me impressed, but I'm like, this dude literally like you know just staying out of my zone. You know what it is? Netplay. Yeah. Uh, you, you, yeah, I, I've heard that too. Like, Netplay just improves the, just the overall you see Cyrox? Skill. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Cyrox is a beast. But they say he still used to practice tech skill on his TV. On his TV, right. But from, from matchup experience and you stuff. You just go on Netplay. just go on Netplay. Oh, my God. No, that's not good. I used to do that too. And then you get beat to that, right? Because then, like... Kel only needs you to be off, and then he touches the stage, he gets his float back, and you're in a bad position. Yeah. That's why I, I never go for that. And, and okay, let's just say by some miracle you did hit him. He's just going to DI it and just come back. Yeah. I, it doesn't make any sense. For real. Okay. I starting to realize in this matter now, you can't really be... I think people is in over in Flate Fox. Fox right. is the best, and he have moves. He have a tool set that could beat everybody. But I think they, I think as a player, people over inflate Fox. The people who play Fox over inflate them, over inflate them, and start just doing random and thinking you, you could just Monkey nail business. all day. Uh, monkey. All right, you're good. All right. You can name Donkey or Monkey. No, Noggy. Oh, Noggy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, we see. all know what that, <laughs> what that name is supposed to be close to it anyway. We ain't, we ain't gonna be inviting uh, be him in talks in here. We ain't trying to bring in them type of even talking to you. But you can't just nair in this meta and expect to be like before yeah. you could have just nair all day and people could not didn't have an answer. But now even though Fox is the best. Huh? He, yeah, he doesn't use lasers, right? Yeah. I don't I don't know why. He need to peach too slow to to be punishing lasers. That's what I'm saying. No, see on this stage which, okay, this is his counter pick. The reason he isn't going to use lasers on the stage is he's going to corner him. Yeah. And he doesn't want to be cornered. So yeah, you don't need he, to pick, he picked this stage to stay on in on Cal. Right. And it's working so far. So to just, yeah, just stay on him because, like, why not, right? You can, I believe you can laser on this stage against Peach. Like, she's so slow running speed, babe. Yeah, like, yeah, you can. Don't like get she, me wrong. She's take, 
you can land and safely do something else after <laughs> like against Sam as I say it's difficult because yeah. that wave dash that wave dash after long, but yeah, that's catch you but <laughs> mid jump <laughs> but like I say and I think people are, the players I think just because they think Fox is the best they could just play anyway yeah and expect to beat every move oh you mean like when you're saying like people like just, just give Fox just too much credit no like uh, I mean no, I, I think the people who play against Fox, they write Fox. I mean, sometimes I guess they do give Fox too much credit, but it, it, if what he could do is good to give him that credit. But I think the players who play... Huh? Yeah. I think the people who play who play Fox, they play like... Like, he, he just invincible. Like, oh, I could try any move and I could beat you. I mean, like, when you first get introduced to Melee, the first thing that you say to yourself is that I'm going to play Fox. Because a lot of people want to play Fox because he is that type of character, right? Yeah. So they feel as though, okay, I'm going to play Fox the way Mango plays Fox. I'm going to just keep going in, yeah, going in, going yeah. in. And, and, and I've been working out for him that, good that, that don't work out. I mean, and even you started saying you, you won't play Fox because, you know, he look all hype and stuff. And yeah. then even you had to realize that, okay, you know what? I'm not, you're not saying that Fox, the character has limitations, but you have limitations yeah, using him. Exactly. So it's like, okay, now I need I to, to just actually, focus on what I'm good at. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And that's what Kira and his TLS say uh, when he's talking about Falco. He say Falco just people say Falco. He's, he he, he qualifies Falco as number two, and I I agree. Yeah, it's just no one want to play like PP. Everybody want to play like West Balls and just be shine daring you all day. But no, but sometimes you got to play lame. He can win the matchup, but you have to play different. You can't just yeah. Yes, yeah, that's oh, just how it is. You have to play different. Oh, why you pick up? That really he miss and pick that up yeah. because it was there. He pick it up and then he jump. Mm. And you know. And I told Viper, I said, Viper, you are very comfortable jumping. And that's the reason why Peach keep nearing you. And now Kel has figured him out. And Kel is saying to himself so now. So he jump it again. So he jump. And what did Kel nice, do now? Nice. But the thing is, he crouched cancel after the jump and he got hit. Because early percents, it, it doesn't really work. Fox, Fox your trade. Yeah. But I'm telling him that you have this habit where you always jump in neutral. Or you always jump to get out of situations. And Kel is just reading him every time. Yeah. Let's, let's actually just look at the match and see what he does. Okay. He took my advice and he's trying to get Peach above him. Which is smart. Got Oh, shit. Yo, man. He almost got... He, yeah. yeah. That, that was going to be it for him. It. And that's it for him. Yeah. It's yep. 2-1. That's how it is. He kept jumping though. Yeah. I, I, I told him a long time ago if if, if if you stop jumping so much, you would play better. You would play a lot better. I know. I know that feeling though. I feel like.